Hello Panthray, today I'm, I'm in this video I will show you how to derive the famous Bianchi identities, these are called Bianchi identities, the first Bianchi identity which states that uh, uh, anti-symmetrization in, in the first three indices of Riemann tensor gives zero and the second one, if you do the same thing, anti-symmetrization, oh, there should be this anti-symmetrization is only in three indices, so there should be this bracket and no this bracket with a covariant derivative, you will you will get exactly also zero. So let us prove these identities using the a very useful tool called graphical calculus first devised in the book called the road to the reality but by roger penrose maybe you are maybe familiar with this notation because i am going to uh, shoot another videos uh, which will precede this one so this is a Riemann tensor in graphical notation and these ones are the indices alpha, beta and gamma and delta over there this is upper index these are alpha, alpha beta, gamma, delta and epsilon over there and this is covariant derivative and this is anti-symmetrization this definition is rather different because this uh, is just a uh, sum of differences and sums there is no three factorial there but uh, it depends only on definition so the first step is to prove the first Bianchi identity first recall the uh, that Riemann tensor can be written as the partial derivative of Christoffel symbol and uh, the contraction of it, their products and written in the Penrose uh, notation which I have uh, uh, like moved to another level with adding Christopher symbol to the set of indices which uh, Roger Penrose used uh, we will get this very fancy looking identity this is just partial der derivative okay uh, how to prove that? Okay, we will just uh, substitute in this identity for Riemann uh, tensor and we will get this is anti symmetrized and this is also anti symmetrized. And if you see there is under symmetrization, and, and that means that these two branches can be uh, switched but it will not change this as a whole thing because there is there can be also uh, this this two can be also switch under this under this this bar so that means that uh, this symbol is actually twice this this symbol is actually twice this symbol because there are two branches separately in, in the difference and also for uh, and this also also holds for this and uh, these two are zero because this is this is symmetric this is symmetric and this is symmetric again the procedure is like backwards so you just move this bar uh, out and there is two times this so that means that you can create another bar over there it's the same but this bar will cancel this because this is symmetric, this is Christopher symbol with no torsion, so this is zero. And also this, if you move that bar between the first and the third index, so that means this is also zero too, because due to the symmetry, uh, there is also like a lemma or some something like that. If you have a symmetric tensor and you will anti-symmetrize this, you will get zero. Um, so this is zero, so this is the proof of the first Bianchi identity. Okay, well, let us focus on the second Bianchi I, the identity. First, uh, I will substitute in this, this, this formula into, into the identity, so that means that uh, this is just a 
this is covariant derivative of this and first I will dismiss this this bar of antisymmetrization and I will add this bar later on first uh, first let me remind you what the partial uh, covariant de derivative does just take the partial de de derivative and uh, add Christopher symbols when you are adding Christopher symbols on the upper indices there is plus sign to the lower indices there is minus sign for example there is this uh, tensor uh, and you can you can add uh, or pseudo, pseudo tensor and you can add Christopher symbols up, up here and I should uh, I did write their numbers because uh, if you add this you have to move branches but instead I've used just labeling because it will otherwise it will it will be messy very messy so this is zero branch over there first second and third and you are adding this zero branch so this is first second and third because zero corresponds to this uh, covariant derivative or partial derivative or covariant derivative i'm sorry this is first zero second third because there is a branch added uh, to co corresponding to the uh, covariant derivative and there is also first second zero and third and there is uh, Another, another tensor, pseudo tensor to be covariantly differentiated. That means this, uh, this is zero first to third, zero first to third, first zero second third, first second zero third. Oh, this is it. Okay. In the next step, I will just uh, add the anti-symmetrization to to the to the to this uh, to this to this uh, to this row so that means that uh, uh, you have to uh, put bar over all indices over this 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 indices okay uh, if you do that if you put bar over there this is symmetric. This is a bit between zero, first and second, because the bar is between zeros, first and second. You will get zero. This will cancel out. This is zero. So this 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 this, this is out. Uh, between zero, second, and fir uh, zero, first and second, there is also symmetrical Christopher symbol. So this is out. And also for this zero, first and zero, second, this is this is out. So that means we are only left with partial derivative, and partial derivative means that you have to differentiate this Christopher symbol and this Christopher symbol. So put this uh, magnifying glass, or you can uh, you can sort as like a derivative of this, and you have to put bar over there. So that means there there should be a bar, and there should be a bar also to the second symbol, and there should be a bar. This is the derivative of this this pseudo tensor, but this is zero. Why? Because this partial derivatives commute these two partial derivatives, so that means this is zero. And we are left with this this tensor with the triple bar, this tensor with a triple bar, and this tensor with a triple bar. Uh, under remark. Uh, the order of uh, zero first and second uh, here are correct because we are putting derivative over there but here is not so correct because this is zero first and second and this is uh, zer zeros oh this is uh, first second and zero zero yes because the derivative corresponds over there but first zero and second means that you can shuffle it because of this uh, anti-symmetrization anti but first zero and second order is the same as a zero first and second order that means that, that this is in the right order because of this anti-symmetrization and this holds all even for this uh, but this is out uh, <laughs> for this it's the same order so this is zero first and second and this is first zero and second which means that this is uh, zero first and second this is the same uh, sign of permutation so this is this is it because
because this is zero first and second due to this uh, anti-symmetrization uh, there is another over no no this is in the right order zero first and second and this is another first zero and uh, first zero first second and zeros oh uh, first zero and first second and zero and also first second and zero so that means this is the right order and this is the right order also with the same permutation otherwise if it would be would have been first zero and second that means that you should put minus sign over there uh, to zero first and second but if it's first second and zero this is this is the right order so that means this term is vanishing in the next step and you can use the same trick as before in the proof of the first branch identity you can put uh, this out and write two instead so there is two times and this is this tensor this is this this pseudo tensor and this is this pseudo tensor and this is this pseudo tensor and there is there is another one another one over there and another one over there but clearly you can see that this is the same as this these two cancel this is the same as this tensor, pseudo tensor, these two cancel and it would be very nice if these two also cancel but uh, they don't they don't look the same on, on the first glance because the, the derivative has the, the, the its, its branch on the left but here derivative has its branch in the middle and there is plus sign but you can switch the, the order of two branches because of the anti-symmetrization and the plus sign will change to minus sign so the magnifying glass will have its handle on the left so that means this symbol would be the same as this symbol with the minus sign or so that means that these two terms also cancel so we are left indeed we are left indeed with zero Okay, this is the proof of the second Bianchi identity. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, maybe uh, see you next time in the new videos I am going to make for you. So, Panther and uh, have a nice day.